Hello friends, this is Rahul Magan here as a Chief Executive Officer of Treasury Consulting LLP and today we would be covering a video about Credit Valuation Adjustment by Calypso. Calypso is a Treasury Management System, right? Calypso is not the name of the person, it is a Treasury Management System. Uh, ideally, you know, the board is a little, little short, so the time, timing has, uh, the, the, the heading would be the, the Credit Valuation Adjustment, but technically we would be covering the DVA also, the BVA also, which is bilateral valuation adjustment, and one is the CCR also. So everything which we cannot mention here, so that is the, you know, the title. So I hope you've been to our first video, and we also would like to thank you very much for helping us. Uh, this is the 353rd video of our YouTube channel, and we are going very good. And this is the, now we are the second largest YouTube channel in terms of technical videos. After, uh, of course, in subscriber base, we are little less, but hopefully by July 2017, when we will celebrate the third anniversary of our YouTube channel, precisely on the 20th of July, then we would cross 450 videos. And hopefully by next year, uh, which is by December 2017, we are planning to cross approximately 650 videos uh, on YouTube channel. And you know that it is not a bluffing videos, it is all technical videos. There is no movie show or there is no songs which we are which we are showing here on our channel. So here we start. Now here we will take an example of my favorite bank. You know, let us take the example of a UBS, United Bank of Switzerland. Although I already told you that uh, the big banks like UBS, Goldman Sachs, Credit Suisse, City, RBS, JP Morgan Chase, HSBC, Deutsche, they already have their prop softwares which they are running. But for a minute, assume that UBS is having Calypso, for a minute. Now Calypso is further divided into front office, middle office, back office and so on and so forth. Here we are taking an example of a dedicated front office Calypso. Now this front office which Calypso is having, now Calypso is a treasury management system that we know. Of course now treasury management system are rising, they are adding a lot of prices. Now I heard that they are adding accounting also, so there are a lot of action which is happening. It is not that action which is not happening. So Calypso front office desk is, uh, and here we are talking only about, uh, you know, uh, we are talking only about this so-called uh, the, the 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 foreign exchange contracts. So Calypso front office is speaking with the clients and the, assuming the clients are taking following front of the following FX contracts, which is swaps, European swaps, caps and floors, forward rate agreement cross currency swap, FX forwards, FX option and so you know that board is less but the list is not less this list is endless right so list is less go go and go on now all these contracts which uh, which the clients are taking of course there is a pricing which is happening the pricing is done by the Calypso pricer sometimes Calypso pricer are, are uh, you know customized also uh, sometimes there are bank who are customizing the prices also that we also understand that now what is happening that all these pricings, prices are customized. But how the pricing is happening? This pricing is happening a model which is well recognized in the market which is known as LLMM model. And my favorite model which is known as London market model, LMM model. LLM model is a model which takes several input, input, uh, several input factor into consideration to give you uh, an endogenous which means the uh, output variables and that uh, several factors uh, would use to hedge all exotic swaps or long term for foreign exchange instruments. If you look at any one of them, which is swaps, European swaps, caps floors, forward rate agreement, cross currency swaps, FX forwards and FX options, none of them is a short instrument. All are greater than one year. In fact, if you go here, cross currency swap, here minimum is 10 years. If you show caps and floors, minimum is 10 years. You go European swaptions, people booking for 15 years swaptions and considering the current volatility, the, you know what, what, what was happening in the swaptions, right? Now in this what exactly is happening using this London market pricing model, which we are not discussing here, but this model is all about, this model is have several input factors which you need to punch in and how these input factors to be taken into consideration. You will have a I writing here, let me write here, you would have a block here in Calypso. In this block a feed is coming, feed is coming from Thomson Reuters or could be from the Bloomberg. So let me write here, assuming the feed is coming from Reuters or take it both, 
watch single assuming the feed is coming Reuters assuming the feed is coming Bloomberg so this feed is, is uh, coming up in this block which is six cents integrated integrated with LMM model which is LIBO market model and that market model is integrated with all kind of foreign exchange instruments remember this map carefully this market model which we predominantly used in Calypso and also in uh, Murex right and other TMS also this market model would only be applied in case of long term and exotic derivative instruments remember this carefully this market model has nothing to do with the short term and plain vanilla instrument that you can very well see that none of these instruments which I mentioned is a plain vanilla instrument every is a long term instrument right now using these long term instruments and using this LMM where you have a block and the feed is coming from either Reuters or Bloomberg or might be both the price the, the, the screen is calculating CVA CV is credit valuation adjustment it is calculating DVA which is debit valuation adjustment we calculating BVA which is bilateral valuation adjustment we calculating CCR which is counterparty credit risk what is CVA take a simple example UBS is dealing with the client say uh, Kraft Foods let us write Kraft Foods here Now UBS is dealing with the client Kraft Food, the largest food company in Europe. Now that Kraft Food is taking a FRA, forward rate agreement with UBS and UBS is having a Calypso. UBS trader is going to, going to the pricer and the pricer is getting a feed from either Reuters or Bloomberg. That feed is, is telling me that assuming they are taking 1 into 6, which is 1 month from now and for next 5 months, 1 into 6. That FRA which they are taking now the FRA which you are taking for the craft food of course we need to appreciate that craft food is a number one uh, food company like in India we have Hindustan Level Limited, we have Tania they are the number one company in Europe and we also need to appreciate that recently very recently craft food order uh, asked for the amalgamation of they had given roughly I'm not uh, I'm not sure about the price but they asked to buy a buy Hindustan Level Limited completely but they denied this m and not happened so this is the size of company we are talking about right but still craft food is a company even Apple can default even Microsoft can default so they are going to hedge that position in the market of course, how they are going to hedge their position in the market? They are going to hedge this position which is with using CDS, which is credit default swap, which is single trigger CDS, multi trigger CDS, one basket CDS, multi basket CDS, and the list is endless. Right? Now, that interbank, in interbank, they are hedging the CDS, and that CDS is having a cost. That cost needs to be priced here in this block. Because this cost is coming from ITREX and that ITREX is available both Reuters and Bloomberg. That ITREX is give, giving you the valuation and that valuation is coming in that pricing which, which UBS is giving to Kraft. DVA is the mirror image of CVA. What would happen if UBS will default? CVA is what would happen if Kraft will default. DVA is what would happen if UBS himself will default. This is DVA. That UBS also needs to be hedged, right? Another is which is BVA, which is bilateral valuation adjustment. Bilateral valuation adjustment, which is known as BVA, is nothing but the difference between CVA minus DVA. Don't think that this is net of cost. No, this is not net of cost. There is a reason to it. Now that reason is the the there is a reason to it. The reason is the last, which is counterparty credit risk, which is the sum of CVA plus DVA plus BVA. Henceforth, we are calculating BVA, which is CVA minus DVA. And everything is going to be captured using Calypso front office desk. Of course, here we have a model called LMM model. There are a number of models which has been implanted. Like in case of equity derivative, Black Scots is working. In case of another equity derivative, Fame of French is working. Here we have which is LL, LLM is working. There are banks which I don't want to mention. There are banks who, are, who have modified Black Scots. There are banks who have their own implied curves. 
So what they are doing rather than taking the implied curve feed from Reuters and Bloomberg, what they are doing, they have their own implied curves, which their trading desk is giving, which would be our large, which would be our next video, right? So using these implied curves, what they are doing, they are they are picking up this domain, and uh, this is how they will calculate that. This again linked with the regulatory. So in nutshell, the purpose of this video is to let you know that. Uh, the upcoming treasury management system or the best TMSs like CVA, uh, sorry, High Calypso and Murex, they are in sync with the regulatory and regulatory is uh, moving good, right? Uh, regulatory is moving, uh, they are in sync with the, they are in sync with the regulatory and they are making sure that all these later adjustments which are coming, they should be a part of regulatory. Of course, we should appreciate that CVA, DVA is not the end. You have credit valuation adjustment, you have debit valuation adjustment, you have fundament, uh, funding valuation adjustment, OIS, collateralized valuation adjustment, the list is endless. So this is the purpose of the video is to let you know that how in a Calypso, when you have a pricer and in this pricer you have which is LLM, how, how this is happening. You are always welcome to connect with us at 9899242978 which is my mobile number. My ID is Kai Prahul Rahul5327. My email is rahul.magan at the rate treasuryconsulting.in and my website is www.treasuryconsulting.in Thank you very much and have a wonderful time.